Yes, hello beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. If you're joining this channel for the very first time, my name is Onomi and this is Onomi Empire. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. You guys are amazing. So today I want to make a transparent soap, 15 liters. Make sure you watch this video to the end. I love you. So guys, welcome to another DIY creation with Ono Miss Empire. So today I want to make a hot press liquid soup part two. This is about 15 liters. We made about seven liters in the first video and someone requested for this. So we are making this uh, 15 liters. Easier for you if you want to make about 50 liters so that you can calculate properly. Now we are prepping in all our water. In this bucket, I measured about seven liters of water in that bucket and this other uh, plastic or bowl I measured about 1.3 liters of water the first thing ingredient we want to use is a SLS SLS is an amazing surfactant this will help to break surface tension and allow better interaction with other chemicals it's also very effective foaming agents to so dissolving our SLS in a seven liters of water I'm going to drop all the measurements on now the screen we, um, stirring this so that this could actually dissolve before we continue with our production make sure this sls dissolve completely please calculate properly to avoid my soap is too watery the next thing we want to do is to dissolve our sodium sulfate this is actually dirty sodium sulfate i bought so i'm just going to filter it so that that dirt will not you know be a part of my soap now sodium sulfate is a strengthening agent this will help to strengthen our soap that's why we're adding this to this production i hear so many people complain that they if there's another name for sodium sulfate there is no other name this uh is called sodium sulfate i know this thing is scarce in so many locations but we just have to use it now you can see the depth we are filtered from this and we are going to allow this to dissolve although sodium sulfate does not dissolve in cold water but we are just going to let it sit for a while our sls have dissolved completely and i'm, I'm going to just mix it with our sodium sulfate that has dissolved now i want you to stir this thing completely stir it very well so that it can combine and you will get a very good make sure you get a very good blend it's very important when you are making soap that you get a very good blend so that your soap can come out very very well so guys i was boiling water earlier i boiled about four liters of water please take note four liters of hot water but not too hot like you want to peel chicken but a very good temperature and next we want to add in the next ingredient which is our texa pond so a texa pond is a foaming agent it's also an anionic surfactant the second surfactant we want to use in this production now i'm just going to add a texa pond into a hot water that we've already poured into the bowl. Now, after adding our texta pond, you just stir this thing a little bit. I know texta pond will not blend completely with water, but just blend it a little bit before we add in the next ingredient. Loving this video, right? Please like this video, share this video with your friends and family, and support Onomi's Empire so that YouTube is going to push this video for me, guys. So guys, our next ingredient is our sodium chloride, which is also called salt. It has a natural microbial properties, helps to fight bacteria, germs, and it also uh, serves as a preservative that will help to extend the shelf life of our soap. And we are stirring our soap, a combination of our salt and texapone in our hot water. So guys, please, I want you to stir this very well till you get a very jelly-like consistency. I know so many people are finding it difficult to produce this soap. That's why I came out with another video so that you could understand this properly. Make sure you follow step by step. You are not going to miss it. Now we are just going to add in our dissolved SLS and uh, sodium sulfate 
we are just going to add it into our dissolved text upon and sodium chloride which is our salt we are adding them together and mixing them this recipe is the banger this recipe is the bomb it's going to make your soap lather 10 times this is a hot press soap a hot water soap it's not just a cold water like we normally use a room temperature this will actually make the soap lather 10 times you can actually use this for souvenir like i do also keep your dishes sparkling clean you can you know use this as a dishwash for your clients this is so amazing please tear this very well this soap another thing i want to say about this soap this soap is not supposed to be thick some people are getting it wrong it's a transparent soap it's not watery it's not thick like your normal multi-purpose soap that we make or your laundry liquid soap it just has a very good and jelly like consistency like the morning fresh you see in the market now um i left this soap to the next day and this is how it is it's now very very clear so that we can you know continue with our production you can see how clear this soap is luscious this soap is beautiful this soap will lather very well and you can see it's not too thick and it's not too thin so make sure you get this recipe right do not overdo it if not you are going to still come out with a watery soap look at the consistency like a very jelly like consistency which is lovable and amazing this will make your customer come back to get more from you guys now i divided my soap into two parts because i want to use two colors i want to use blue and pink i want to make two different beautiful colors for my client she actually chose that color which is amazing you can use any color of your choice any beautiful color of your choice for your clients now this is our blue color which is very fine and beautiful i added i dissolved it in water and i added it to my soap little by little so i got the exact color i want for this soap you know some people like it you know a lighter color uh, some people like it darker blue so i just made it moderate it's looking so dark here but when you put it in the bottle it will come out in a lighter form and now this is my pink i've already dissolved it in water already and this is so beautiful which color do you love do you like the blue or the pink please tell me in the comment section guys please like this video share this video with your friends and family support on no miss empire we sell skincare hair care and lip care products make sure you patronize us we ship worldwide to canada to france to europe anywhere you want to nigeria to ghana try us do business with us guys and you're not going to regret it we are so so reliable and we give effective products next we want to add in the next ingredient i'm adding glycerin to this to give it a little bit of shine you know glycerin serves as a humectant which means to draw in water from the atmosphere to the skin in case you're using this for a hand wash this will serve very well and now this is our perfume you can add any fragrance of your choice i'm using lemon mango and strawberry for this now added glycerin you can add about 15 ml to your production if you're not separating your soap 15 ml in total i also scooped out a little bit of soap to dissolve my perfume like i used to do on this channel if you have been following me for a very long time and add it back into my soap i don't like pouring perfume directly because some perfume are chemically made which could actually make my soap turn watery this is an oil based perfume please if you have a water based perfume you can add directly now these are my beautiful 250 ml containers which i'm using for my clients they are very very affordable you can actually do the same so i'm packaging this soap right now it's looking cloudy but trust me the next day it's looking so beautiful like eh? you want this soap in your house in your kitchen this soap is so effective you take out grease from your dishes and it's so wonderful 
now this is the soap the next day you can see how transparent look at my hand on it now very transparent jelly like you know consistency and perfect this is store-bought grade soap now i'm packaging this Please, soap. i want you to try this recipe and give me a feedback thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video god bless you bye i love you